Welcome back, guys. Quite the trial. Gundam Tanaka was the killer. I had it pegged since the beginning. But Tanaka was the killer. Um, but Nakamura was gone, which is tragic. And now I guess, uh, yeah, we'll get to see the conclusion. I didn't conclude it in the... I like to do the trial episodes in about an hour apiece. One of them went over just a little bit. Because the trials do take a long time, shockingly. It's actually the longest part of the game. Is, like, one trial takes two hours minimum. Hmm, so. This result isn't all that exciting. So now we will conclude chapter four. With the execution and all. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Please pull the lever. Crap, I bit my tongue. The most important part. God damn it, Monokuma. God damn it. But we all know who it is. We all know who it is. Tanaka, Tanaka, Tanaka. I wonder what Sonya's gonna do now. Sonya might snap and become the next killer. She did kind of really like Tanaka. For whatever reason. It'd be bad if I bit my tongue again, so I'll speak slowly. And judging from the result, Yippee! you guys were correct once again. Getting four in a row without any mistakes is a splendid achievement. <laughs> That's right, the one who killed the robotic Nakamaru in the amazing funhouse Yippee! was Gundam Tanaka. Nice! Yay, I said all that without biting my tongue. Now then. Now that we've decided who the killer is, let's do the execution already and get this over with. Hold on. It's true the class trial is finished, but that doesn't mean the incident is over. We can't finish it until we hear it from Gundam. Jeez. No matter what he says, it won't change a thing. Well, I have no right to stop you either, so do whatever you like. Oh, Why do you want to talk to the one who was lost? The loser merely leaves. It would just be unnecessary for me to say something. Listen well. Is what I would like to say, but for honor's sake, I shall correct one thing. Correct. You guys said I made Nekomaru powerless without fighting him. Did you actually fight him? That, however, is a great mistake. Fine. Nekomaru did fight. That is no mistake. I don't like hearing that, actually. That kind of hit me. And because he fought, he lost and died. D damn it! Lost and died? This, too, if he was must just... be the will of causality. Okay, if, if he was just trying to cling to life, there are many ways he could have done so. However, he, he did not allow that. You... What do you mean? Explain! <laughs> Fine, then. Then I shall reveal it all. Let's make history. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Within the final letter room, I discovered the secret of the funhouse. And I devised a killing plan utilizing that secret. By tampering with all the clocks in the building, I succeeded in luring Nekomaru to the tower. And this is what happened. Ooh. Nekomaru and I were alone in the tower, standing face to face with one another. Hmm. As you see, I expected as much from Nekomaru. He sensed my subtle killing intent and instantly understood the situation. And we had ourselves a stare down. In that situation, if he wanted to run away, it would have been easy for him to do so. He could have run away, or even called for help. But he did not turn his back to me. Instead, he chose a fight that risked life and death. That is... A fight that risked life and death? Let me tell He was serious, this. too. He gave it his all to try to kill me. Huh? Wow. <laughs> if I had died instead, the mystery surrounding the case would have been even more complicated. You would never know why I, the victim, went to the tower by myself. I can see it! Nobody would know the victim, me, was actually the one who planned the whole thing. Could it be? Mekamaro really did that? I wouldn't doubt it. Sensing even my subtle killing intent, as expected of you, Nekomaru. The scorching, stinging, tense atmosphere. Oh. I've been a team manager for so long, I'd nearly forgotten this. This is great! What a comforting atmosphere! Mm. That's a great one. And what is your reason? Do you intend to resolve this situation by killing me? <laughs> <laughs> I am the warlock, Gundam Tanaka. Heroes, 
lords of darkness, and even the gods themselves flee from me. I do not cling to any trivial reason. I'm simply going to kill you because your very existence is an annoyance. Wow. <laughs> You'll drench your soul with evil until the bitter end, huh? Splendid! In response to your spirit, I shall kill you with all of my might! I won't go easy on you! Don't even think about holding back! I'm gonna miss Nekomaru Don't waste your breath on cowardly tactics! Give me everything you got! Nekomaru Nidai, your blood will drench the foundation of my empire! That is... Why? Why did you fight? We are all friends. Why couldn't you stop this? Even if both sides agreed. It is it was still wrong. <laughs> I will not argue. I have no intention of forcing my values upon you. Let me tell you. However, I must say this. What's the point of living if you're just waiting until you finally die? You weakling! There's nothing courageous about that. That is abandonment. A mere feeling of resignation. I mean I kinda get where he's coming from. Wait, are you telling us to just wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have the, that happen to us than have our friends kill each other. Do you mean that you'd rather die? Fall, my dears. Ever since we were locked inside that building, everyone had been dominated by the feeling of abandonment. However, nothing is born from resignation. That is simply a reason to give up. If you flinch, Giving you up on die. life? That's just an insult to life itself. Let me ask. Have you fools heard of the term dog eat dog? Mm. Cannibalism? Fine. In zoology, cannibalism is a commonly observed phenomenon. Many creatures at some point in their lifespan engage in cannibalism. Listen well. That is what it means to live. If you say killing for the sake of living is evil, then what would you call giving up on life itself? I shall endure. If a world this would consider world. that justice, then I will fight that world with every less fiber of my being. Giving up on life and choosing death is nothing but a blasphemy toward life. I renounce it is you. a violation of the natural order. It is the arrogance of humanity. You Are you saying all that to try to justify what you did? What? But it sounds that Nikamura felt the same, too. That's why they fought, right? Damn it. You know what? Nekomaru did probably feel exactly the same. Fine. That man had the courage to die when he needed to die. That is why he challenged me to our battle. <laughs> Regardless, as I've already said, I do not intend to force my values upon you fools. I have betrayed you all. That is the absolute truth. Fine. But even so, don't you think it's better? It's a better alternative slowly, than slowly starving to death. Basically. Oh. That belief is why you committed your crime. You... Hey, what about the final dead room? Did you do the Russian roulette too? Let's make history. Unlike Nagito, I only did it once. But <laughs> compared to my battle with Nekomaru, that was a mere child's play. Well, you know, after listening to you talk for a while, I'm starting to think that. Well, it's also because you unexpectedly admitted your crime without much resistance. Gundam, don't tell me you you didn't sacrifice yourself for our sake, did you? Oh. <laughs> I can't believe you would ask such a foolish question. My name is Gundam Tanaka. Just who you think I am? I am Gundam Tanaka, history's greatest monster. He might have actually killed so that we could get out after we found him. That is possibly he might have fell in love with Sonya to do it. My curse existence is feared by all mankind. There's no way I'd sacrifice myself for the sake of you fools. Hey, not in a million, not in a billion, not in ten billion years. In the name of pandemonium, it is impossible. Is that it? Then I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> now then, let us be rid of this foolish talk. It's about time the fun started. <laughs> Monokuma, let us begin. Yes, indeed. Yay, got it. <laughs> I have prepared a special punishment for the ultimate breeder, Gundam Tanaka. Please wait. Please wait. Th this is just too much. Please, Monokuma, please help Gundam. Huh? Miss Sonia? I Sonia, are you good? How beautiful. Sonia? An act as refined as stopping a man from going to his death does not befit a noble such as yourself. Gundam? Hmm. It's fine to start for reals, right? Fine. Yes, I do not mind. However... What is it, my four dark devas of destruction? Uh oh Are you worried about me? Oh, my feared four dark devas of destruction. That is not like you at all. However, there is no need to fear. 
In this world, I am only a temporary visitor. I do feel bad for the hamsters. I was simply visiting for a moment. And now that my duty is complete, I must return to the darkness. That is why, until the very end, pride, conceit, courage, insolence, fearful of nothing, daunted by nothing, let us laugh uproariously! <laughs> that is Gundam Tanaka! I shall stick with my evil until the very end! Open Sesame Pandemonium! I shall fill hell with true hell! <laughs> Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Do the hamsters are with them, or maybe go to Sonya or someone, maybe? I'm uh, suspecting the hamsters are gonna go over to Sonya. Game over! Gundam has been found guilty! Time for the punishment. How much execution are we gonna give old Tanaka? Oh, this already looks horrendous. Gundam Tanaka Stampede. Don't look free or Gundam Tanaka something. I couldn't. That was fast. He did leave them. They do. will not die with them. He actually could do magic, maybe? Dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's gone. He so said he was just a breeder. He wasn't actually magical. I actually kind of feel teary because of the hamsters. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I feel quite teary because what the hamsters watched him die. Gundam! N no! Oh, actually, I think I need a minute. Wow. The hamsters watching him get murdered. And him smiling at the hamsters. He protected the hamsters till the end for fuck's sake. Oh boy. Animals, man. Animals. Even after Gundam is gone, the spirit of his parting words still linger deep in our chests. Don't give up on life. Did I misunderstand what he meant? Then, what's the right thing to do? I don't know. No matter how much I think about it, I don't know if I'll ever be able to answer that. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm so pissed off. I need to throw something. Th Damn you also had so much time worrying about each other, and thanks to that, things ended up like this! You're all full of shit! Every last one of you! But the biggest piece of shit is me! Damn it! Why am I so weak? Oh. It's such a downer, clearly. But still, even though we feel this way, we still gotta do our very best. You are right. You are right. This time around, we must move forward. We must continue to live and believe in our friends. If not, you are right. Condom will most likely crawl his way out of hell, and I presume he will be very cross with us. You're right. You're right. We shouldn't just stand here. I mean, it's not like this is over. We still have to do it. We still have to finish this. For the sake of our friends who have died, we need to finish this once and for all. So, don't just stand there. Stand up and walk. Move forward. Live. If you don't, everyone who fought and died will have died in vain. We can't allow that. Hey, hey. So how long are you guys going to stand around chattering? This class trial is over, so it's okay to hurry back over to Jabberwock Island. <laughs> However, the killing school trip will proceed as usual, so make sure you know that. Wait. Hold on! How much longer are you going to keep doing this? Well, there's not much of us left, so not much longer. Seriously, how long is he going to keep doing this? How long is this going to continue? Now then. <laughs> All right, after feeling down for so long, I finally feel refreshed. Let's hurry back and eat some food. Hey, hey. Hold on a sec. That mood shift is just too damn fast. It's not like that. Well, you know, it's like Gundam and Nakamaru said. <laughs> That's what it means to live, right? <laughs> She's certainly something else. <laughs> but seriously, I'm starving. Hey, hey. Then let's go back for now and eat. 
And then, after we're full, let's sleep as much as we want. Right. And then, let's do our best again. Yeah, you're right. Our best again. This, the class trial, has come to an end, and once again we return to Jabberwock Island. The size of our group was definitely diminished. But despite that, even if it was just the rest of us, we did our best to stay upbeat and have fun together. Of course, our optimism was only superficial, but at that moment we were able to forget about the dark despair looming before us. However, the only thing I was worried about was him. He wasn't there. He suddenly disappeared from our sight. Nagito, I assume. <laughs> yep, I'm definitely lucky. I never expected to, say, uh, to obtain so many valuable things from a simple game of Russian roulette. <laughs> Thanks to that, I was able to learn the identity of our true enemy. Oh, were you? And before everyone else, too. But it's just too funny. I mean, no one could tell that I was lying. There's no way the file had just Hajime's information. Well... I guess they were too busy with other matters. Or maybe they've reached their limit. Regardless, I was saved. Things would get complicated if they found out. <sighs> anyway, I can't forgive this. Damn it. This should never be forgiven. There's no way I could let this run loose. I'll be the one who stops this once and for all. Even if it costs me my life. It's obvious. For the sake of hope, I cannot ignore this. Whoa. Monokuma! All here! right, Monokuma has arrived. Who summoned me? Now then. Thanks for coming. What's this? Why? It's the lonely little Nagito. Are you all alone tonight too? Why would you call out Monokuma? What's the matter? So what's up? Your face looks scary. Well, he knows a lot now. <sighs> I see. So you could tell. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps you found out who the traitor is. <laughs> you know me well. Wow. Is what I'd like to say, but unfortunately, I haven't learned that yet. See, so even you don't know, huh? Looks like the final showdown is gonna take a little more time. Hello. So why'd you summon me anyway? Were you finally gonna confess your love? Yes. Hey. I summoned you because there's something I really need to ask you. It's about the special prize from the final dead room. Hmm? Oh yeah, what about it? There was information about 16 people in the file I received. But isn't that weird? Say what? What's weird? You don't even well, know? Well, there's a traitor from the Future Foundation hiding among us, right? Including that person, the total number of students would be 16, right? Isn't that right? But this file contains documents that were created to help speak Academy, right? Of course! That's right! I just reused the stuff from the former headmaster spent a lot of time making. What? If this file even contains information about the traitor, was that person also a former student of Hope's Peak Academy? Oh. Who knows? <laughs> huh, I wonder. Hey. Could it be? <laughs> Is this your doing? Did you slip false information into the file? Were you trying to keep us from learning the traitor's identity by obtaining this information? Hmm? What's wrong with that? If it's my job to heat things up, it's okay if I do something small like that, right? Well... That's not my point. Right? My point is, you already know who the traitor is. Hmm? What's wrong with that? You're getting all right. Well, you're up. splendidly correct when you say I knew who the traitor was all along. Okay. But even though I know who it is, why do you think I ignored it on purpose? Hmm. It's just like Monami after losing her magic stick. The traitor's existence means absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> Their existence means nothing, huh? No. Well, no. that's just how I feel. I'm sure you guys feel somewhat different. Obviously. After all, that person is the evil Future Foundation lackey who's putting you guys through this awful stuff. Mm, that's not entirely true. I don't really come here to fight or anything like that. <laughs> Instead, I came here to offer my cooperation, you know. Huh? Cooperation. Hey. Your purpose is to fill everyone on this island with despair, right? <laughs> that's why you intentionally... That's why you're intentionally letting the traitor do as they please, right? Yep. Yep, yep. I... If that's the case, I might be able to cooperate somewhat, too. Right. However, in exchange, I want to know who the traitor is. Hmm. I see. Interesting? Very interesting. No, no, no! Obviously, that's a big no-no. I mean, I want to make everyone in your group feel despair. That includes you, too. Whoa. Well, I know you would say... Well, I knew you would say that. Hmm. Besides, I just wouldn't be able to handle the sadness when you would inevitably betray me later on. 
<laughs> just as I thought, you saw right through me. You're right. No matter what situation I find myself in, my core way of thinking will never change. In order to create absolute hope that shines brightly, stepladders such as myself and despair exist. <laughs> You're right. You're a true believer of hope after all. I must say, that belief reminds me of that person for some reason. You must mean Makoto. Huh? Reminds you. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, but if someone as worthless as me reminds you of some other person, that must be extremely unlucky. Lie. But you're just as unlucky, right? I mean, the fact that you're even involved in something like this. Whoa. Am I? I actually think I'm very lucky. Say what? Uh huh? You don't know? Wouldn't you say that you're coming across this much despair is a rather rare opportunity? I can't rely on anyone on this island. That's why I have to be the one who does it. I mean, yeah, you can't really rely on anybody. Hajime's kinda got some shit going, but that's it. If I can eliminate despair from this island, I won't be a stepladder anymore. I'll become true hope. I'll become an existence that could even be called ultimate hope. <laughs> the two of you are alike. You definitely remind me of him. Hey. Hey, there's one more thing I want to ask you. Hmm? Hmm? See? Who are you waiting for on this island? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Looks like I'm right again. You're definitely waiting for someone on this island. Is the person you're waiting for already on this island? Hey. Well, answer my question. Th that's... If, if that's the case, if that person is already on this island, <laughs> wouldn't that be exciting? <laughs> waiting for? He's waiting for someone? That's another curveball, y'all. Who could be showing up? Wow, 11 hours. 11 days. I guess. 5 days, 11 hours, and some months. Chapter 4 is complete. Look at that, y'all. We are down to seven. Seven! Seven! Like, that's it! There's no more islands for a mark, I don't think, either. A hellhound earring. I would love to save the current progress, but yeah, I do not believe... There is... I don't believe there is any... Oh, I lost my train of thought. Seven people left, though. We are really down to the wire now. So, yeah, we are going to end this episode here. This is the conclusion of Chapter 4. It took 22, 23 minutes, as I said, to do the final conclusion there. So it would have been an hour and a half episode, which is a feature-length movie. We don't need that, really. Um... What a chapter. Now, with seven left, I don't pick any of them as a killer again. I just don't. I just don't. I don't picture any of the seven left being a killer. Which is really going to bring this down to the wire. So, yeah. This is going to get wild as a conclusion. I can tell. It really is. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed the game. I'm loving it as usual. I'll see y'all in the next episode of Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, despair. Take care till then, my friends. Bye-bye.